so here here's another Bible topic for you. Alright, the Bible talks about a blink of an eye is a thousand years in heaven. It says that. I might I might have worded it wrong, but that would it say, okay? So I you know and, and I look at heaven like this. See, our bodies to me is basically a robot made of tissue. That's what I see. We might not be made of steel, but we're made of tissue. So with every robot, no matter what they're made from, there has to be a charging time. You know what I'm saying? Your body can only go for so long before, you know, a robot can only go so long before it has to be charged, right? Right. Same thing with us. I think what heaven is, with that being that phrase, blink of uh, blink of an eye is a thousand years in heaven. I, I think what that, to me, what that says is that heaven is a holding place for your soul to recharge. That way, in a thousand years, you come back with a full charge and you start all over again. But during this process of being conceived and born, your whole memory is erased. That would explain why some people have, um, you know, when they go under anesthesia, not anesthesia, being hypnotized or whatever, they can remember what happened in like the 1800s. It does explain a lot. So I'm wondering, which I believe, I've always believed that heaven is a holding cell for you to charge. Because in this world, we, we go through a lot. And we're, there's only so much energy we can produce before we have to recharge. You, know, you see what I'm saying? I just believe that in a thousand years of heaven, you come back. I know that's weird, but that's the only way to explain that. I think that's the way God or whoever wrote it has explained it, if we really think about it. Yes, I'm weird. I know. We talk about some crazy stuff, but you know what? That's just what we th do. But that's how I see it. Like, now that I think about it, I'm starting to see it more and more with different things. Because, like, you know, the Bible talks about streets of gold and stuff like this. Well, if that's the case, think about it. Streets of gold. Streets that have a metal form on them. Sounds like a place to go for robots, if you think about it. If you really think about it, it sounds like a place where robots go to. You know, I wouldn't expect to go to a nursing home to get recharged or go to the country to get recharged. I would expect it to be streets of metal. Gold being a form of metal. So it does explain a lot of things in the Bible if you really think outside the box like I do because I have weird thoughts. You don't know that. So, you know, with that all, that whole phrase, a blink of our eyes, a thousand years in heaven, think about it. How do we not know that it takes a thousand years for our souls to recharge so we can come back? And how do we know this big boom in population we're having and we've had for a long period of time are just, are, are other people coming back that can't remember who they were in the past life? I know, I have weird thoughts, and I think about stuff, trying to, honestly, I'll be honest with you, I love God, and I love the universe, but there's just some things in that Bible that you really got to think far-fetched out there to even make any type of sense of, because my question is, if there are streets of gold, where'd they get the gold from? Somebody had to get it. I mean, you got to really think about it, you know, where they get it from. And why the streets got to be gold? Why can't they be concrete or or, 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 or dirt road? Why they got to be gold? You know what I'm saying? You know, there's a specific reason why the gold coloring on the streets of gold is actually gold. We just don't know the reason yet. You got me? There's a, there's a reason for the Bible saying the streets of gold and using the word gold specifically when there's silver, 
we have all these metals and all these these the materials to to create the streets of God to create streets with. So there's a point that somebody's trying to tell you there's a reason why there is a street of gold or streets of gold. So I'm wondering, and, and I, this is how I see heaven is it is a charging port for you to, for your soul to go for a thousand years. Then when you're fully recharged, you get a new body and a new brain and you start all over again. That's how I see it. And I think that's how life continues. Just like Jordan, when I pass, I'll go to heaven and I'll recharge for a thousand years and then come back as a different person. Think about it. And how do we know these celebrities that are so-called passing away aren't doing the same thing? but in a different form. Like, how do we know that scientists haven't created that issue for the rich and famous? Like Whitney Houston being gone, but they never actually showed Whitney in her casket. You know what I'm saying? Michael Jackson never got showed in his casket. You know what I'm saying? So how do we know these people aren't How do we know we're, they're not coming back in a thousand years or in a hundred years when, or well, it'd be about, a, it would take, a, for Whitney, it would take a thousand years for her to music just to be gone, where everybody would forget about her. Michael, the same way. So how do we know that they haven't created something like that already on earth for these celebrities that are just tired and need a rest? You know what I'm saying? How do we know? We don't. We don't know. I mean, we got Area 51 and all of them. How do we know? We, we don't know what they do. But that's how I see heaven. That I, I, the more I think about it, about it, the more I'm like, yep, that's exactly what heaven's got to be. And if you do really good on earth, you come back in a thousand years. But if you, like, you know, do really, really bad, you don't come back. You know what I'm saying? You go to a place to teach you a lesson. And I think that's how that works. You know what I'm saying? That's how I see it. I know. I think weird. I'm just trying to make. I don't know why the whole Bible issues got on my mind today. But it just did. But that's how I see things. It's weird. I know. I'm weird. I love you. <laughs>